Do you know that you can increase your sales on the Flutter Wave e-commerce store more than 100% with cheap and profitable Facebook ads? Stay hooked because that is what I'm about to show you in this short but in-depth Flutter Wave e-commerce or e-store tutorial. Flutter Wave e-commerce is one of the easiest ways to make money online selling your products and services. With Flutter Wave e-commerce, you can easily set up your e-store without worrying over setting up your own e-commerce website because you can easily take advantage of the already made Flutter Wave store, which is currently one of the most visited websites in Nigeria and even Africa, according to the similar web statistics. You can load your products on this popular website and get your business online with everything, including online payment gateways set up for your business automatically, all for free. By the way, if you don't already have your free Flutterwave e-commerce store um, set up, then you can watch this video right here as I show you the complete Flutterwave e-store free setup. Then you can come back and watch this video to start making lots of money running cheap ad to your store. So, if you already have your store and you want to take your business to the big boys and the big girls level by running simple ads that bring massive traffic to your store, then let me show you how you can easily boost your business and sell more on your Flutter Wave store running cheap and profitable hard. Let's get right to it. So first things first, I want to assume that you already have your Facebook business account created and set up to run ads or you have even been running ads already. But just in case you're not sure about that, then watch this video as I show you the proper way to set up your Facebook business account. Get your business asset added to your Facebook ad manager and then you're ready to run ads with Facebook to your Flutter Wave Easter. So here we are, I'll go ahead and sign into my ad account. Okay, so I'll come to all tools here. Scroll down, okay, to add manager. Okay, if you're like me that have more than one ad account, come over here and select your preferred ad account that you want to use to run this ad. And if you have just a single ad account, you will not need to worry over choosing between ad accounts because only that account will be displayed automatically on your dashboard. Alright, so this is my ad account. So I'll come to create because I want to set up a brand new ad. Alright, so here is my campaign level. I already explained a lot about um, how to choose your campaign level from beginning to the end in this video that is currently displayed on your screen. Alright, so for a Facebook ad that we are going to be using to promote our product on Flutter Wave Store, the best option that we're going to be choosing here is the traffic ad. So I'm going to select the traffic ad and I'm going to continue. Alright, so here I'm high in the traffic campaign proper, so I'm going to give my campaign a name. Okay, I'll just call it Demo Flutter Wave. And then I'll scroll all down. I'm going to leave all of these settings the way they are. I'm not going to touch anything here, and then I'll just click on the next button. Alright, here am I in the ad set level. Once again, I'm supposed to give my ad set a name, so I'm going to give it the same name. That's going to be Demo Flutter Wave Ad Set. Let me just give it that name. You can give it any name that you feel like. Okay, so I'm going to scroll down. Now, here they are asking where I want to direct my ad to. Of course, we are sending traffic to our Flutter Wave store. So here, I'm going to choose the website here. All right, and um, I'm going to scroll down. All right, so they're asking me the performance goal. I'm going to leave maximized number of link clicks. That's okay by me. I'll scroll down. Here is my budget and schedule. So I'm going to give my hard a budget now budget can be a big deal for some persons you want to ask yourself how much budget is good enough how much budget is too much or too little the truth of the matter is there is no strict rule to you assigning budget to your flutter wave account now if your 
If I were you, I will just set a hard budget that is not too large and one that is not too little. Now, what do I mean by too large? I don't want to set an ad budget that if, for instance, let's say I run an ad and the ad did not produce any results, I don't want to set up a budget that I will not be able to, you know, to cope with, okay, if it doesn't work. That's what I mean by too high budget. And then I don't want to set up a budget that is so little that it's not going to be of any significance, you know, to Facebook pushing your heart. So here, I'm going to just advise that you should choose an ad budget between 1,005 and 4,000 Naira per day, depending on the kind of things you sell, your financial strength and how long you really want this ad to run on Facebook. But I want to advise you to set up a budget that is okay because if your budget is too low of course your heart is not going to be delivered to a lot of persons so here i'm just going to set up three thousand so if your heart account is set up in dollars that sh that should be around um seven dollars there about that is if you're using the official rates okay so i'm once i set my ad budget i'm going to come here and choose my start date now here is asking me when do i want my heart to kick off um, most times, of course, you want your heart to kick off immediately you set up the heart. So I'm going to set up the date of the day that I'm setting up my heart. Of course, here it has already highlighted my day and it has called it um, 26, 2023. So here I can just say 4 p.m. Lagos time. Then here is asking me the end date. Now there are two ways you can run your heart. You can either run your heart to run continuously or you can run your heart in a way that after every 24 hours the ad will pause itself and then you have to manually you know restart it again now the question is which one is better well any of them is okay but if you are the type that you are not really very used to facebook ad and you really want to monitor results as they go then i would have advised that you set up a daily ad budget so that you can always come in and monitor your ad yourself but if you think you don't have the time to keep coming over and over again to check up how your ad is performing then you can leave it to keep running until probably your hard budget is spent so if i wanted to keep running until my hard budget is spent i'm going to leave it the way it is and scroll down but if i want it to be a 24 hour ad then i'm going to mark this end date and then i'm going to set up an end date for it so i'm going to just type in the date that should be maybe tomorrow maybe three days in fact i don't even advise that you should be using a 24 hours hard as much as possible you want to set for like three days four days five days or one week something like that so that the hard can run consistently and then facebook can you know go through the learning phase of your hard and then make your heart to begin to get results so whichever way you want to do it it's your choice you can go for any of them so once you have set that up i'm going to scroll down again okay for custom audience here we don't need this for now so i'm going to just leave that out now here we are talking about our location now automatically facebook is going to set your ad in the country of your residence so if for instance you're in nigeria and you want to run your e-commerce store to the united kingdom for example all you need to do is to hover on this country here and click on the edit tab here then you can cancel out nigeria and then once you cancel out nigeria you can come over here and type in the name of your or the country you want to set up your ad so if you want if you're setting your ad to the united kingdom you just come here and click and type in united kingdom you can see here that united kingdom has been highlighted for me so you're going to click on that and then your ad is set for united kingdom then another thing you can do is that sometimes you don't want to run your heart to a whole country maybe you're living in a particular city let's say i'm in lagos and i want this ad to go to only the people living in lagos all i need to do in this instance is just to type in lagos here and then i expect to i like lagos lagos state for me so i'm going to choose lagos and even if you also don't want your heart to run to the whole of lagos maybe you just want your heart to go to say um ikeja only ikeja in lagos all you need to do is just to come here and type in ikeja okay and then ikeja is going to be highlighted for you and let's say for adventure you set in a local location and maybe you can't find it i believe you should find every location but if you don't find it then just look for a location that is closest you know to the location you're looking for but if you're really running facebook ad you really want to pick locations that of course you know people you know use um their phones they, they browse on facebook so you don't want to run and have to a village for example so i'm sure that your location will always be represented and another thing you can do is that you can set multiple locations so if you don't want it to run to only one country 
two countries, three countries, you can type in as many countries as possible. You can make your heart to run all over the world. You can make your heart to run all of, uh, to different local places within a city. All you know, it, it all depends on how you want to go about it. So I'm going to leave mine at Ikeja here. Okay. So if I, for instance, want to also target Lekki. Okay. Once I click on Lekki and I choose Lekki, you can see that Ikeja is already added and Lekki is already added. And if you want it to run to the whole country, all you need to do, I'm going to cancel this, cancel this. And then I'll just click Nigeria because I am in Nigeria right now. So I'm going to do that. Okay. So it chooses Nigeria for me. So depending on how you want your heart to go, you can always do that. So I'll scroll down here again. I come to age. Here it's saying 18 to 65 plus. So the question here is that by now, I want to expect that um, this is not a business development class. So I'm not going to be talking too much about you understanding your customer better. But by now, I'm sure that you already have an, a very clear idea of the ages of the kind of people that are going to be buying or using the product or service that you're offering on your Flutter Wave account. So I'll just come here and choose the age range that I want to run this ad to. 18 to 65 plus is the uh, is the default here. So I can always click down and choose, let's say 20 to let's say 45. Let me scroll for 45. Right, so this is 45 i can choose 20 to 45 you can see it's all that easy so once i set in my date i come to gender here click on the edit again okay so you can either make your ad to run to men so if the product you're selling you are very sure that it's only men that are going to be using it then you choose men if you're sure that it's only women that are going to be using it you choose women and if you think that your product should be served to every um gender both male and female of course you choose all of course most times you always want your heart to run to everybody <laughs> because even if you're selling a men's product a lady can see it and buy it for a man and, and so but then if you're very sure that you are very certain of your gender that you're targeting then please go ahead and choose your gender all right here we're talking about detailed targeting I've, i have videos uh, uh, on, on this channel that has explained so much about how to run detailed targeting so i'm not going to be um, doing a lot of detailed targeting explanation in this video because i want to keep this video as short as possible please try to watch my uh, facebook playlist i have explained a lot about detailed targeting but here what it's trying to tell you is that hey that you can actually target the kind of people that you want your heart to run to so if you want your heart to run to for example uh, wealthy people you can set it up here if you want your heart to run to uh, people that are, are always in the habit of buying things online you can get it done here if you want to run your heart to people in a particular kind of um, industry you can get your heart here for example if you're selling shirt and trousers and you think bankers um, would be cool customers to run your ad to this is where to do that you look for bankers here if you think that you're selling a health product and you think um it is um people that have maybe diabetics that are going to be seeing your ad for example here is the place to look for diabetes if you know that maybe you're selling health um, or diet product that are going to be suiting for only diabetes and the rest and the list go on. So all you need to just do is just to click on the edit here and then begin to, you know, use these um, filters here to check out and narrow your heart to the exact people that you want your heart to get to. It's that simple. Please check up on those videos. I did a better explanation on them if you just want to know more. But I think basically that is all this one is talking about. Okay. So here it's talking about advantage detailed targeting here if you really want your ad to blast to a lot of people even people that you don't have an idea about that you think you want to trust facebook that these guys know the kind of people that will buy your product of course facebook is brilliant the the ai technology is brilliant it can help you really get customers that you didn't even think about but most times we always want um to control our hard because we think we know the kind of people that we want so um, for me i don't use to choose this uh, the advantage detail targeting but in your own case if you want you can choose it and if you want you can leave it open if you understand your customers very well the rule is don't choose it but if you think you want facebook to really help you suggest your product to people that the, you that facebook think are going to be best fit for your product then you go ahead and choose the advantage detail targeting so once you do that you come down to placement here now we have two kinds of placement placement talks about where do you want your heart to be served um facebook has a lot of real estate these days um your your facebook your facebook ad can be served on their facebook audience audience network your facebook ad can be served on the reels on the facebook news feed you know all over the places so 
um the first option that facebook is giving to you is the advantage placement here if you choose this option then facebook is going to run this ad on all of their platforms everywhere but sometimes also we don't always want to use the advantage placement we want to narrow you know the places that we want our heart to be run on maybe because of budget and you know to get better results sometimes by the time you understand your business very well and you've been running facebook ad for a while you will be able to have an understanding of the kind of places where your ideal customers are going to be found so you don't want to just spread your heart all around with spending a lot of money that is if you're sure you know where your audience are going to be so here we have facebook we have instagram we have audience network we have messenger if i don't want my how to be sent to audience network for example all i need to do is just to untick this if i don't want it to go to messenger i untick this if i want it to be only on facebook and instagram i will just leave this to open like the um ticked if i want it only on instagram i'm just going to untick facebook it's that simple so for this demonstration let me leave it at facebook at instagram and instagram okay so i'm going to come down here you can see here it has only picked only those locations and if you're checking this side of your screen you will see that our facebook is going to be adjusting you the estimated audience size based on your detailed targeting option and the platforms where you want your ad to be run to okay so here for example we are having 25 million there about of course i wouldn't expect your heart to be this much and the reason why my heart is this much is because i have not really done a lot of detailed targeting here if i begin to do detailed targeting you will see that my heart begins to you know go down and down until it gets to a particular um ideal estimated audience size most time you always want if you're running a national ad you want it to be between 500,000 to 1 million there about you know depending and if you're a local business you at least you want to get it to 100 200 300,000 estimated audience size okay so that's how it is but it's not a strict rule but just make sure that you take that uh, you bear that in mind so once i'm done with this um that means i'm cool with my heart set so i'm going to click on next all right so here we are at the ads level now so once again i'm going to give my heart a name i've been using demo flutter wave so here i'm just going to say demo flutter wave hard all right so once i do that i'm going to come here it's going to ask me here if i want to uh, to select the page that i want my heart to be run through here i have five pages in your own case i don't expect you to have up to five pages except you're an agency okay so for uh, you just pick your own okay i expect that you already have a business facebook page if you don't have a business facebook page it's easy to create just go back to your facebook account create a business um you know page and then check up on it uh, once it's done just come here it's going to be highlighted there so you choose this so i have chosen my facebook page so um if you want your heart to be active also on instagram you would have connected your instagram account now if you don't know how to connect your instagram account i the video i told you at the beginning of this tutorial already tells you how to connect your instagram account your whatsapp account your facebook um ad account and every other asset that you're going to be needing for to run your heart consistently your pixels and the rest of them so make sure you check up on that video so i expect that if your facebook ad is well targeted and well set up um, your Instagram account would have been connected but even if it has not been connected just come to this place and click on connect account then it's going to take you to your Instagram you're going to sign in and then it's going to ask you to confirm if it's your account once that is done you just connect your Instagram account so that your Facebook ad can also run to Instagram account which for a product like Flutterwave products for example Instagram is going to be a great place for you to you know get your heart on so once I do that I'm going to scroll down all right, so here they're asking me manual upload your create ad creative what kind of ad creative do you want is it a manual upload or, or a catalog come down here you can see here it's asking you um, are you sending a single image or video now and here it's asking me if it's going to be a carousel or a collection now i want to assume that this place is very self-explanatory now on your facebook ad you are expected to have three different sections that you should take very seriously now the first is your hard test the second is your ad image or your ad video and then the third is your ad description or your ad title you want to take those three 
very important. So here they are asking you, what do you want to use to run this ad? Is it a single image? Is it a video or is it a carousel? Now it depends on what you're selling. Sometimes videos do very well. Most times people always tell you that if you don't know what to use, use a video. Because video seems to be more engaging than images and um, maybe test but that is not a rule that is not a rule at all it all depends on what you're selling there are some times that the thing you're selling really can be well explained and well enticing using an image while if you're selling maybe a more expensive product that require a lot of explanation for your you know audience to get before they can buy then in that case a video will really work out for you but if you're also selling maybe let's say you're selling shoes for example and you have maybe six seven eight shoes on your flutter wave e-commerce store now you might want to use a carousel in that instant because um the carousel is just a means by which people can scroll through your images of course you want to put in beautiful beautiful images for your carousel so that as people scroll through those images they can see what you're selling and then they can buy from you so it all depends on you the only rule here is that you want to make sure that whatever it is you're using either an image images or, or video it has to be very good videos very good images if you're using a video as much as possible try to make your videos to be to achieve two things number one information about your product and number two entertainment okay so you want it to be a kind of an infotainment kind of a video so that people can be you know impressed you know by your beautiful video in fact when people are impressed by your videos and your images people will even share your heart on facebook for free and that's like doing a the job for you free of charge but then your ad creative has to be compelling it has to be very good really it has to be very good before it can work out so it all depends so for this video because i am running an e-commerce store on um, flutter wave i think i'm going to go with carousel here so i'm going to choose carousel multi advertisers ad okay this depends on you again they might want to help you blast your heart but if you don't want it blasted you can just untick it so that you can go to the kind of people that you really want it to get to so i'm going to scroll down here again so here they're asking me to hide my cars now they are saying if you're choosing a carousel you can choose between one and ten you know images okay between one but it cannot be one image because that would be a scroll if you want to use a single image then you come back here and choose single image or video instead so that you can put in your single image okay so here i'm going to come to hard cards here all right so i'm going to hard image cards all right if you have already uploaded your images on facebook before now they are going to be here so all you just need to do is just to tick you know as many as you want um to run your hard with but i want to assume that you don't have your images here already so in that case but obviously your image would have been ready you know in, on your computer so i'm going to come to upload here all right so i'm going to scroll through my desktop to know to get to where i actually saved my images i already have some images saved for this tutorial so i'm just going to come in here and select all of these I click open and then they are all going to be uploaded on my Facebook all right so now that I have all my images created now I'm going to be using one two three four images you know for my carousel in this demonstration now like I said I want to assume that this your images would have also been uploaded on your flutter with account or your flutter with vista so that you know they can rhyme so that people can see exactly what it is that you're selling that you have put on your facebook so here i'm going to select this and select this and select this and select this okay these are the four i'm going to use now the reason why i can select more than one at a single time is because i'm running a carousel hard so i'm going to click on continue Alright, so once I do that, once again, this video is not about how to prepare your ad creative, so I won't be talking so much about um, how to create a perfect dimension for your, you know, uh, your, your Facebook ad. I can do that in another video, so make sure you are subscribed to this channel so you get to see when I release amazing videos like this. So here you can see that I have 1080 by 1080, you know, as my dimension here all right so once that i am sure that all my images have been uploaded that means i'm done with the image section so i'm going to come to the headline section now the headline section is another very very important aspect of facebook ad. as a matter of fact when people are scrolling on facebook 
I told you that there are three parts of a Facebook ad that you must take very seriously. That is your your headline, your ad image or video, and then your ad test. And the way it works is that when people are scrolling, the first thing people see are your images. That is what stops them to see what exactly you have to offer. Immediately they see your image, the next place they want to go to is your title. They want to see, okay, this image is good, what is it saying? So they check up on your title, and then when your title is appealing also and very convincing then they can go ahead and read whatever it is that you have so make sure that you take that very importantly that's just a tip for you to take home with so here what do i want to put on my headline well you can put anything but make sure that you have a great headline once again i'm going to be talking about things like headlines in another video so make sure you are subscribed so here i'm just going to say promo something like that everybody love free things i could say promo buy one get a gift something like that of course i'm not saying you should give gift for your ad but i'm just going to make sure that i want to do something that is you know very shooting that people can really see and say okay let me see what this guy is talking about so once i've uh, added my headlines i'm going to scroll again and here i'm going to add a description you know get amazing gift in our currently running promo you know i could just put something like that so it's going to be a kind of description for my video title so as you can see here you can see uh, a preview here this is what it looks like so you can see promo oh my promo is wrong so i'm going to do that okay so you can see here promo buy one get one free then get amazing gift in our currently running promo that's a nice one so once i'm done with that i'm going to scroll down here and then in my website url all i need to do here is to go to my flutter wave account so let's head over to flutter wave all right so here i'm high on my flutter wave account so right now what do i want to do i want to go to my store so i'll just come to store here and click on that then once i'm here i'm going to come to manage store of course i want to assume that your store has been set up correctly if you've not set up your store once again check up on my video where i teach you everything you need to know about setting up your flutter wave e store for free so once your store is set up just come after you've come to manage store come here to this particular url here this url is going to display all your products for you okay so i'm going to click on this copy to clipboard sign here okay once you do that you can see that it has been copied then i'll come back to facebook and then i'm going to paste in my you know url here okay so you can see this is my flutter with url pasted all right so once i'm done with that i'm going to continue so here you can see a preview of what our heart is going to look like okay so i'm going to continue let's scroll down all right so here we have a section for our primary test so here is just telling you what you want to write on your primary test so i could just say a hey, fashion loving guys all right so here is just an example of course your, your heart creativity should be maybe more enticing and more powerful than this so here i'm saying hey fashion loving guys once again we are running our once in a year promo take advantage of it before time runs out on you i'm going to leave an exclamation mark okay so that is what my primary test look like so i think this is good for me so once i'm done with that i'm just going to come back here and come to call to action now in call to action let me click on this you can see we have a lot of you know options for you to use if i i most times learn more is usually the most generic you know call to action but it depends on the kind of products you're trying to sell or the kind of offer you're running on your facebook ad so here i could just say get offer for example you know i can say get offer since i'm running a promo okay once i'm good with that i'm going to just scroll down leave every other thing the way they are and then i'm um, going to look at this okay i think i'm good to go so all i need to do right now is that i will check up on my heart to make sure that everything is well set up 
and I am good to go. Once that is done and I'm satisfied with everything that I've set up, all I need to do now is to click on the publish ad. Now, once I click on the publish ad, Facebook are going to take their time to, you know, review your ad, make sure that everything you have there, you know, they tally and then you are abiding by the Facebook ad rules once your ad is um, approved by facebook they're going to let it run and sometimes just within few minutes sometimes it could also run up to 24 hours or even more okay facebook are going to approve your ad and then your ad can keep running but of course i'm not going to click publish here because this is just an example ad i'm not intending to run this ad and then what's going to happen is that once people see your carousel all the all we, that we happen right now is that once they are cool with the kind of you know ad that you're running once they click on any of your carousel or on any of your images they are going to go to your e-commerce e-store which is this let me show you what it looks like all right pardon me here because uh, the images i'm using here they do not tally with the image that i use for that ad but like i told you uh, it was just you know a fictitious ad to demonstrate how to go about the process so i expect that the kind of um images are going to be using for your carousel if you're using carousel should tally with the image that people will come of course to see on your flutter wave is store and then they can go ahead and buy from you and I'm, i can assure you that if you run this ad the way i've explained here you're going to have you know blast and a lot of persons are going to come over to your ad and of course there are so many things you should also know about marketing which i'm not going to be talking about in this video because this is just you know a strictly facebook ad video but of course some persons will come around they will not buy it, but make sure that you track them and make sure that you follow them up so that they can buy from you but i can assure you that if you do this well you're going to see massive massive facebook results running your ad so go ahead set up your ad and monitor it and i believe you will begin to see massive sales if you follow the process as i've explained in this video please if you love this video like it and subscribe to this channel just if you have not done so and then turn on the alert bell so you get to know when i release important marketing and make money videos like this thank you see you in the next one